impressive. So something we like to do is called rapid fire. Mm -hmm. All right. So turn your brain off. We're just going to ask you some questions mm -hmm. and uh, let's get to know Glenn Braggs a little bit. Uh, Milwaukee or Cincinnati? I'm going to upset some people, but Cincinnati. Okay. Uh, favorite city in Japan? Yokohama. Yeah. Why? 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 Um, I visit we we when we played in Japan we literally played all over the whole country so we would sometimes we'd play home games in Kyushu sometimes we play home games in down in the south of Japan and um, and so every city I got a chance to visit all the cities in, in Yokohama it was just the most it was the, it's called the city on the bay mm. and it was just the, the most beautiful place to be and um, I just felt comfortable there I'm noticing there. something Hawaii. Southern California, hey, hey. you know, I don't know how you lived in Cincinnati or, <laughs> right. or, or in the Milwaukee. Right. Well, Mil well, Cincinnati <laughs> was good. Milwaukee yeah. was a little bit more tough. Okay. A little tough. Yeah. Uh, most memorable home run? Probably my uh, first major league home run. Um, I hit a home run off of Charlie Huff, a knuckleballer, mm -hmm. and then I ended up hitting a second home run that day. But um, the you know the one that I think you know a lot of people don't even know this I hit the farthest home run ever in when I was in uh, I was playing rookie ball in uh, Paintsville Kentucky, and people still talk about this home run. It's probably the farthest one I ever hit in my life. Yeah. But um, they didn't have but, trackers back then. No, they you, did how not. How far they you did think not. you hit this thing? They did not. But um, probably my first major league home run. Um, and then I've had some pretty big shots that I hit in uh, in, J in Japan mm -hmm. too. So, okay. Yeah. All right. This question's not going to be as friendly, but uh, worst strikeout. <laughs> oh, jeez. Come on. If, man. if you hit home runs, I know there's some strikeouts um, going on. You know, as a baseball player, we don't remember the strikeouts. <laughs> um, that one, I, I mean, any time I struck out, I didn't like it. Yeah. I, I don't have one in mind that was that like bigger out. than the other. Yeah. 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 Okay. All right. We'll let we'll let it slide. Yeah. That one was. Somebody yeah. do some research for us and find right, it. Right, right. I'm pretty sure they can find a lot of them. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Your uh, your favorite all time baseball player? Uh, oh well, um, well George Foster was my favorite player. So I it was I got to, so I started my career in Milwaukee and then I got traded to the Reds. I was like stoked and because that's where my favorite player mm. played. Um, I had a few. I mean uh, Willie McCovey and uh, you know Willie Mays. Those guys were. Um, were my idols too, but I, for some reason George Foster was my favorite player. I just kind of connected with him, and yeah. then um, got a chance to play in Cincinnati and got the chance to wear his uh, jersey uniform. Number. Wow, so that's it was cool. pretty cool. That's really yeah. neat. That's really neat. Uh, favorite all-time teammate? Who? Um, let me just think. You know, probably. Um, Probably Eric Davis. Yeah, probably Eric Davis. I mean, Eric was, was they used to call him Mr. You know, Mr. Red. Mm -hmm. But he was he was everything to everybody, man. He was uh, you know, great player, great leader, uh, funny guy off the, you know, you know, in the clubhouse. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, just he was just one of my uh, one of the, one of my favorite players I'll ever watch play. He was so fast, he could yeah. do a lot of things, he could help hit home runs, he can steal bases, throw guys out. Um, so probably my favorite player to play that's with. That's cool, yeah. yeah. And he, was, he was fun to watch. Yeah, yeah I, re I remember. 44, right? Yep, yep. that's right. Um, I, th I think this is fascinating. I mean, Eric Davis a little bit. He's not probably as big as you. He hit home runs. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, just, you stole bases, too. I did, yeah. You know, stealing bases and hitting home runs is not something yeah. you, you, you kind of get together in a, in a package. Yeah, I was, uh, you know, at the a lot of people don't know this, but I, when I got, I was like, um, when I got called up to the big leagues, I was probably, I was, you know, I had been top minor league player, you know, throughout my whole uh, minor league career. Milwaukee had the number one farm system at that time, mm -hmm. and I was a top prospect in their farm system. And so, um, you know, I could, uh, you know, basically I had what they call five-tool player. Yeah. Um, and so, uh, yeah, I prided myself on being able to do it all, hit for average, hit for, you know, yeah. power, be able to play defense and, you know, score bases. Yeah. yeah. I know you robbed a few home runs in your day. Uh, yeah, yeah, actually, uh, the the biggest one, probably my the biggest play ever in my career was the home run I took from Carmelo Martinez in the uh, in the National League Championship Series, which put us into the World Series. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, uh, favorite in Vogue song. Oh wow! Uh, <laughs> I didn't think I was going to ask you about that, huh? 
Can I say I don't know the names of any other song? No, I'm, just, gonna, I'm kidding. You, I'm kidding. You can uh, sing it for us. Uh, no, I will not do that. <laughs> don't let go is probably one of my favorite, but uh, "Free Your Mind" and "Never," you know, "Never Gonna Get It" and "Hold On." All of those are all yeah, great songs. Those are classics. Well. Yeah. Uh, what, what would be Cindy's favorite song? Ooh, uh, probably, pro- probably "Hold On." Probably "Hold On." "Hold On" was their number one, number mm-hmm. one hit of all time, and I think she was the lead on that song. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, um, how much can you bench press right now? Oh wow, probably not that much. I have a bad shoulder right now, but um, I was yesterday I was doing some decline, and I just only went up to around two twenty five, and I did it about fifteen times. So, if you if you're you, ready for the NFL combine, so man. if you if you okay, well, if you if you do that out for like max for one rep max, that probably equals to probably somewhere somewhere around three hundred. What's the most you ever? You ever three fifty was one at one time. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, what's your favorite baseball team to follow today? Probably the Reds. Probably the Reds. I mean, I don't like any other teams in the league. I don't even <laughs> like the like anytime someone wears a Dodger jersey or hat in the gym, I'm like getting on their case all the time. Yeah. It's tough when you live in LA. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, and they're and they've been good. Right. Uh, who's your favorite player to watch? These days, um, let's see. Probably, that's a good question. Let me think about this for a minute. Um, probably, probably Nolan Arenado. Um, I think he's with the Rockies. Yeah, okay. he's short uh, shortstop, third baseman. The guy is freaking phenomenal, mm-hmm. man. Um, he hits for power and just cranks it out there and just plays defense like you wouldn't believe. So probably one of my favorite yeah. players to watch.